Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kay. And hi, I'm Diana. And today we're gonna do part two of my day as a medical technologist. And Diana's gonna actually tell us about the antibody screen. So what exactly is an antibody screen? So an antibody screen is a test that is performed when the doctor um, thinks that you might need a red, red blood cell transfusion. Mm -hmm. Um, so sometimes your uh, body has unexpected antibodies that will um, f have like a reaction with red blood cells. Okay. So um, it's important to know uh, which antibodies um, you have if that's the case and then find blood that is negative for those antibodies so there won't be a reaction. Okay, so is this typically a test that you run on almost every patient, or is it like No, exclusive? it's um, if they think you might need a red blood cell transfusion, which uh -huh. usually means that your hemoglobin is very low, okay. you're anemic, uh, sickle cell patients, mm -hmm. they get a lot of blood transfusion. And typically, how long is this test? 45 minutes, half an hour to 45 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, you did do like a really good video showing us how you do an antibody <laughs> test. I really like that video. You're like, oh. I'm serious. <laughs> like, you did such a good job on it. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to show you that video. Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do an antibody screen. Um, an antibody screen is a test done when uh, there might be a chance of um, a patient being transfused. It's usually done in, as part of a type and screen, uh, type meaning uh, finding what the patient's blood type is, and then screen is um, screening the patient's serum to see if there's any unexpected antibodies that you know aren't part of the ABO uh, blood group system. There's a, a many different uh, types of blood groups. Um, so we have uh, two screen cells, one and two. We get um, 50 mLs screen cell one oh. push it back to 50 Screen cell two. Um, and now all of this is supposed to be uh, labeled before uh, with the patient's name. Um, supposed to put screen cell one, screen cell two. Okay, and then we grab 25 mLs to 25 the pipette of patient serum. Now, um, this test can be done two ways. It could be done um, tube method, which is you use these glass tubes. Um, and it could be done in the gel method. Um, we do gel method here because it's a children's hospital and we want to use as least serum as possible. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it um, to incubate at 37 degrees Celsius and then we spin it at 10 minutes and then if there is reaction, let me show, I don't have any reaction. Let me cover up this patient info. So um, this is negative. So the, screen, the red blood cells are at the bottom. If it was positive, it would be at the top or it'd be dispersed all throughout. Um, gel is uh, usually um, a lot more sensitive than tube. Okay, and then what happens if it's positive? So if it's positive, um, you actually have to do what we did, but with 10, <coughs> different um, screen cells, which is uh, part of what we call a panel. And um, these uh, sc screen cells have all these different um, blood groups, uh, RH, Cal, Duffy, Kid, Lewis, 
and these are all the possible antibodies that the patient might have. And then here we would put like the results, how positive it is. There's um, different grading reactions, uh, one to four. Well, I guess uh, zero being negative um, to four for um, the reactions. And then um, depending on what they are, we, um, we kind of like, it's by process of elimination. Like if you ever played Sudoku, and then we can figure out um, what ex antibody um, the patient has. And then we have to find uh, red blood cells that um, are negative for that. So it becomes quite more complex if you have a positive antibody screen to find compatible blood. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can get these t-shirts. I'm going to put the links below. This one's from my sister. It's Nathan Art. And that lab rat t-shirt <laughs> is specifically made for Diana and Gina because they're medical technologists. Um, if, so if you work in a lab and you want this tea, I'll put the link below. And um, you did, you wanted to add something else, right? Oh, yeah. Right? I also wanted to, um, to add that um, whenever, if you ever have to get an operation mm -hmm. and um, God forbid you might bleed a little bit more than usual, you would also have the antibody screen done as well. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so you don't necessarily, you know, have to be sick. It's like a pre-operative measure, mm -hmm. just in case. So, yeah. I'm, I'm professional. Okay. <laughs> okay. But, um, so, with the screening that they do, if, you, if you're if you doing surgery, is it the same amount of time? Yeah, so it, yeah it would be like the same. The same 45 mm -hmm. minutes? Yeah, it would be the, the same exact as if any other regular patient that would most likely need a transfusion. So, okay, okay. Yeah, it's just done like as a just in case kind of step. Mm -hmm. You never know what might happen in the operating room. Okay. So yeah, so you would have compatible units just in case. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, you guys. So hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank Diana for doing this part two with me. Thank you. <laughs> and we're also going to do a part three where we answer your questions. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.